Hello friends, this is Leslie here from Leslie's Voice today and uh, on today in this video I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to give an answer to you guys for one of the most asked questions to my videos. So few weeks back I have posted a video saying like you know how to get more entry calls through Naukuri, right? Hope you would have watched that video. So in that video I was talking about uh, key skills for each roles so many people asked me a question like how to you know what is my key skill if I have I'm a Java developer what is my key skill I'm a Windows administrator what is my key skill can you tell me uh, what is the key skill for quality analyst so there are a lot of comments uh, like that so I thought you know I will answer you with a video so that's the reason I'm here today so uh, because I couldn't answer each one of you through comments so I thought you know I will give an answer which will help you to understand or to find your key skills right so I'm not going to tell you what is your key skill uh, because telling what is your key skill today I'll tell about five skills or ten skills but uh, there will be more people different skills right so I'll not be able to answer each one of the uh, for each one of you with the key skills so I'm going to tell you how to find the key skills rather than giving the fish I'm going to say you how to catch a fish right so I'm going to tell you how to find your key skills that's very important right so I'm going to share my screen and uh, I'll help you in identifying uh, you know uh, how to find your key skills for your particular job so that you can post or you can add those key skills in your resume in your Naukri so that you get more interview calls right this is naukri.com right and uh, to identify your key skills please go to naukri.com you can just open a browser and put in naukri.com and uh, on the first option is like you know browse all jobs browse uh, jobs by company jobs by location so you go to browse all jobs right so a new window opens here and in that you have an option to search jobs. So for example, let's say you are a Java developer, right? So I will put Java here, Java developer, just to put Java developer and put your uh, experience. Let's say you have five years of experience, no need to put a location, no need to put salary, just put Java developer and number of years of experience. Now click on search right you clicked on search now you find there are a lot of jobs postings from different companies in naukri.com right now you open uh, some few jobs let's say them two to three jobs you open okay so in this you can also do you know you open only the jobs which are posted by your uh, uh, target companies or your dream companies you can do that also but uh, you can also go with any job description that is there in Naukri. So let's come to the first job description that we have. If you see here, you know, it's mentioned like Core, Java, J2E, jQuery, Web Services and XML, right? So this job description says they need somebody who has experience in Core, Java, J2E, jQuery and Web Services and XML. And you can go through that job description again again it's the same same this saying the same thing come to the next job description you please make a note of the first uh, key skills that we identified from the first job description now come to the second job description here also you have you know certain skills like java j2w collections algorithm problem solving and uh, uh, middleware technologies web services so looks like this the two different uh, there are two different job description though it's a java developer the first job description which we saw talked about more of html jquery javascript etc here it's talking about more of uh, web services api development so you need to identify which is uh, more relevant to you whether uh, j2e html javascript uh, jquery is more relevant or Web services, API development, algorithm is more relevant. So the current job description, this job description talks about more of a back-end Java developer. But whereas this job description talks about more of a front-end Java developer. 
so if you are a friend and java developer identify jobs or job descriptions like this right and come to the third one this also talks about uh, core java anglo js spring so this looks like the first job description so the first job description and the third job description matches so let's close the second job description that we read so these two matches let's come to oracle company also has posted a java developer requirement here also it talks about java g2e servlet spring and uh, restful services again it's a combination of you know front end and also the uh, web services as well so now you identify that or you understand so java j2e html javascript jquery or the skills which are across most of the job descriptions right now as a front end developer so we have seen three different job descriptions which is, which is more or less equal to a front end java developer so all this check what is the common skills here right what are the common skills here and add those skills on your resume and add those uh, skills on your now query so that is called your key skill okay that is the skill which you need to add and also you can add i'm not saying that you have to go with the job description but i also say you know uh, if uh, you have worked in a very niche skill or a different skill which you don't find in the job description that's fine you add that as well so whatever skills you have that is your job uh, key skills okay so let's come once again here we are uh, doing for a java developer let's do for a different skill now or maybe a windows administrator right or let's do a non it requirement maybe um, what would i say uh, area sales manager right so i'm putting a job uh, posting for a area sales manager keeping the same experience and i'm putting it so let's see what skills they are mentioned here so this is pipes this is apparel i'm opening just few jobs here right let's go to the job description and try to understand whether uh, we can find the uh, key skills required for this job right so here if you see sales territory accounts right and uh, cash forward agents and then uh, sales manager okay market mapping right so these are the key skills here okay so you need to write these skills somewhere and see the next job description what it does it, what does it say here it says of uh, experience of corporate and government department competitive to market share business development product management so looks like a different uh, skill altogether here you can come to here sales manager sales plan zone markets positioning new product right so this is how you identify your key skills so what are the common key key skills you have related to your job you pick those keyword keywords or key skills and add it in the key skills in nokri and in your resume which will help you to get more entry calls so hope i gave two examples so this is how you need to do for all those uh, guys who asked questions in uh, youtube about, about you know how to uh, find the key skills this is the answer for you guys so please you know go, go through your uh, jobs related to your skill and then find the key skills and maybe you can add it in your resume and also in nokri so that you get more entry calls i hope you guys like this video and uh, i look forward for your uh, contribution to my channel like in terms of commenting in terms of asking questions that will really help me to answer your questions again right so keep uh, if you like this video please share it across and if you have any questions further please ask again Thank you very much.